In this video, we are going to perform two simple tests to detect nitrite and nitrate ions in solution. The test for nitrite is called Lunge's test and is conducted with Lunge's reagent. This reaction uses an azole coupling. We used this test in our last video, where we synthesized nitric acid from ammonia. The second test is called Brown Ring Test. It is used to detect nitrate ions in solution. Let's take a look at the chemistry that is used for the Lunge's test. As we mentioned, it uses an azole coupling. This reaction is most often used to prepare dyes. First, here are the formulas for the two reactants, sulfonylic acid and 1 naphthalamine The sulfonylic acid is derived from aniline by sulfonation. The 1 naphthalamine is prepared from naphthalin by first nitrating and then reducing the nitro group to an amine. The first step of the reaction is conducted with the sulfonylic acid. This is dissolved into glacial acetic acid. A few drops of the resulting solution are added to the liquid that has to be tested for the presence of nitrite ions. If nitrite ions are present, the reaction you see here takes place. First, the ethanoic acid liberates nitrous acid from the nitrite salt. This then reacts with the sulfonylic acid, producing diazonium salt. Diazonium salts are normally highly unstable compounds, which decompose easily. However, as soon as they are prepared, they immediately react in the second step of the test. There, the para position on the benzene ring, opposite to the amine is deprotonated, as the amino group activates this position. The electrophilic nitrogen on the diazonium salt then attacks the deprotonated position on the ring. This reaction is thermodynamically favored, as it stabilizes the azole compound. The resulting product is bright red, as it contains a lot of alternating double bonds. The longer the chain of alternating double bonds, the longer the wavelength of the absorbed light. With modern quantum mechanics, we can even predict the color of a substance. Now you see why azole compounds are important as dyes. They are even sometimes used as food coloring. The next time you see names like yellow 2G, tartarazine and sunset yellow on your gummy bear packaging, you'll know what you're eating. That's enough from the theory now. Let's see how the test works and how a positive result looks like. To do this, we add a few milliliters of distilled water to a small dial, followed by a crystal or two of sodium nitrite. The dissolution is very endothermic. When the sodium nitrite has dissolved, we first add a few drops of an ethanoic acid solution of our sulfonylic acid. This creates the diazonium salt we talked about. Now, we add a few drops of the one naphthalamine solution. The color of the test solution instantly turns a nice red color. The red dye can actually be extracted from the solution with an organic solvent like DCM. Now, let's do a more useful and realistic test with our lunges reagent. Here we have a small piece of a tasty sausage. As we know, nitrites are often used as meat preservatives. They also form this nice red color, which actually comes from carcinogenic nitrosamines. In case you wonder, yes, we are too lazy to just read the package and see if the manufacturer used nitrite. Let's add the piece to a small dial, followed by some distilled water. We let the sausage sit in the water for a few minutes, in order to dissolve some of the nitrite, which could be present. After a few minutes, we remove the sausage. Then we add our test solution just as before. First, the sulfonylic acid, then the naphthalamine. The color change is not as sudden as with our first test, but after a few minutes we can see an orange-red color. Now, let's take a look at the brown ring test for the detection of nitrate ions. Its principle is very simple. First, you acidify your test solution with some dilute sulfuric acid. Then, you add some iron to sulfate solution. After that, you carefully add concentrated sulfuric acid. Because of its high density, it sinks to the bottom and forms a separate layer. If nitrate ions are present, they are reduced to nitrogen monoxide by the iron 2 plus ions. They themselves get oxidized to iron 3 plus ions. The nitrogen monoxide and the iron form a nitroso complex. This has a brown color and can be detected as brown ring above the concentrated sulfuric acid. 
The ring only forms at the boundary of the layers, as the formation requires both concentrated sulfuric acid and iron 2 plus ions. Start by dissolving a few crystals of iron to sulfate or ammonium iron to sulfate in the minimum amount of water. Acidify your test solution with a few drops of a 10% by weight sulfuric acid solution. In this case, we added ammonium nitrate to the test solution so that you can see how a positive test works. Next add a few drops of your iron to salt solution to the test solution. For the next step, hold your test tube at an angle and carefully add concentrated sulfuric acid. By letting the acid flow down the walls of the tube, it sinks to the bottom and forms the separate layer. Depending on the amount of nitrate present, you may have to wait a few minutes in order to see the reaction. Note, if nitrite ions are present, the whole solution turns brown after the addition of the iron to salt. After a minute or so, the very nice brown ring formed. Please note that depending on the concentration of your nitrate ions, the ring can be anything from faint pink to brown black. It is advisable to do a reference test. To do this, simply use plain distilled water and carry out the test as before.